everyone, Simon here again, story time, yes, so today's story, two or three parts maybe, I don't know, we'll see, this is the story of two girls, journey to the dark side, two girls from village, farming life, journey into working in red light districts in Thailand now it was actually many years ago this story but it is relevant today so these two girls are called A and Nock they're young girls let's say for sake that they're of legal age and they're both working, finish school, working in the village. They live in two adjacent villages. They've known each other from traveling on school bus to school and through school together. Good friends, but they live about half a mile apart with their families. Now, if they stayed with their family, worked in the village, on the farms, in shops, local businesses, they would go on, even a factory, they'd go on to meet Thai men settle down get married the family would build a little house on the land they have kids and have a good standard normal life work eat sleep bring the kids up and this is a normal typical life sadly girls that come back to the village from working in Bangkok or Patea or Phuket they turn back up in nice clothes. They've got a brand new motorcycle. They've got the latest state-of-the-art telephone, mobile phone. And they tell stories. They probably exaggerate. They don't tell the bad stories. They only tell the good stories. Why do they do this? Well, a lot of them work in go-go bars, beer bars. And their bosses have said, if you can bring some girls back, we can't find new girls, we'll give you a commission. We'll give you a couple of thousand baht each girl you bring back. So I, these girls that work in the bars become recruiters suddenly and their stories are embellished, they're, they're exaggerated, they're glossed over. And for A and Nock who were of legal age, working in the village, helping the families, maybe earning 1,000 baht a month, 25 UK pounds, 30 American dollars, 40 Australian dollars a month, it's nothing. A and Nock quite often would, they'd be sat at a local little convenience store outside having soft drinks, food, and one day they met a recruiter, the girl they knew from the village, and immediately they see the clothes, the bike, the phone, and they start talking and they listen to the stories many meetings with this girl over a days and they decide a and not that they don't want to stay in the village they don't want the normal life it sounds exciting in the towns and cities it sounds like they could make some money they could help the family with more money they could have some fun all these things are a lure to them and talking together they decide that they want to try this they know it might not all be smooth ride it might not all be true but what have they got to lose they're both good looking girls both clever intelligent girls they know what will be involved basically and they get hold of the girl the recruiter What's in it for her? And the recruiter tells them, yep, I will take you to, in their case, was Bangkok, um, to a very small go-go bar. She would pay for their travel to Bangkok. She would buy them some clothes. She would give them a room that they'd share with other girls. 
the go-go boss, you'd get them a job and all the legal requirement documentation to get the job. She would train them, she would teach them everything, all the little tricks and tips she knows. She'll take care of them basically for three months. And in return, the girls have got to pay her 20,000 baht each. Uh, and that will cover everything. The girls will get a salary from the day they start, and the girls will have to pay their own rent on the room separate and their own food once they start working so she tells them this is you know how i make my money extra money after the three months you'll be on your own you will at this point be fine you would have learned the basics and you can make your mind up from there what you're going to do so the girls they talk about this for maybe a week their choice stay in the village standard good life or do they go to the bright lights and get into that industry which will change them forever yeah they choose the dark side so many girls in the Asian countries take this similar path they have the choices and they're drawn by the bright lights the money everything now a and knock clever girls immediately they decide anything bad they're not going to do and they're going to save their money and work hard as a team stick together look after each other if they stick together throughout life will be easier for them good move if it was a girl on their own it'd be so much harder they get hold of the recruiter, let's do it. And they trip, journey off to Bangkok. What have they told the parents? I don't know, it's tricky. They've probably told them they're gonna work in a shop. As long as they're sending a thousand baht a month back to the family, family will be fine. That's what they're earning now in the village, helping out, so a thousand baht a month. Okay, not too bad. They go, and the recruiter takes them around to their room, gets them settled in, goes out and buys some clothes, jeans, shirts and things, gets some food, gets them a little bit of money in the pocket, takes them to the go-go bar, gets all the documentation done, gets them on the books. So there's the first commission for the recruiter from the bar, two girls, 2,000 baht each, done. The first month, the girls are not put on stage and not available for customers they are service girls so they're just bringing drinks out Tr neither of these girls speak english so they've got to learn english words words from all over the country all over the world a bit of german a bit of everything and they spend a month learning about alcohol drinks customers foreigners language at the same time the recruiter is teaching them in the background, maybe in their room, basic dancing. And the girls are watching the girls on stage. Some of the girls on stage are just moving a little bit, hugging the pole. Are the girls really good dancers? At this point, it all looks so easy to A and knock. They've got a mama son, they've got a job there. First starting salary of service girls is probably 3,000 baht a month. They've got food, room, all good. And they have to then learn and go through the process of learning the dancing and get confident. And they start talking to the recruiter about the foreigners, what's expected. They see the girls being taken with the foreigners and the recruiter explains to them all of that side and the money on that side. And this is where you're gonna make your money, what's expected of you, how you do everything. A and Nock have both had boyfriends in the village, never been anywhere near a foreigner. It's gonna be a big step. Month finishes, it's their chance. They're given uniforms for dancing, they're put on stage, they're now open available for customers 
and customers spot new girls pretty quickly and that attracts the customers so within the first day the girls are off and they start their journey and experience and learning curve I won't bother going into all the details but they spend the first three months dancing going with customers learning the basics oh, learning more than the basics probably the recruits are still looking after them everything is fine no bad problems no bad experiences or problems and they're earning money they're now dancers so they're earning the full I don't know six thousand eight thousand baht a month some of the girls in this bar do different dancing showing off parts of their body and get a bit more money but A and Knock don't want to do that they're not interested in that they start to see other girls drinking heavily and doing other things and they again we're not going to do that we'll look after each other and watch out for each other and stop that happening good move good move very clever these two girls very sensible very intelligent they start looking at this as a business rather than a chore they start seeing where the recruiter has said there's all this fun and excitement and everything and they soon realize it's maybe not what the recruiter has told them is true that the fun and excitement she's on about is the getting drunk and going places with customers but they've both come here this far they're earning money now three months are up they've paid the recruiter the 20,000 baht each and they've still got money left in the pockets they can send two or even three thousand baht back to the home to the village and still more money in the pocket the girls are getting earning because they're both attractive they're at three four thousand baht a day and in Bangkok that's for good girls that's that's what they're earning three four thousand baht a day if they're really good looking and good dancers as I've mentioned in other videos 4,000 baht a day and both these girls are good looking and they're earning the money and working hard once a day with a customer maybe several three months are up they decide they want to break the tie with the recruiter this go-go bar they want their own room for the pair of them and they want to start seeing other bars and meeting other girls so they go and find themselves at their own room 4,000 baht a month maybe five and they move bar, payday, paid, bye bye, off they go. They spend the next year changing bars many, many times, going all around Cowboy, Nana, Pat Pong, all around Bangkok. They even try a beer bar um, and they learn the trade inside and out, all around Bangkok. That's where I'm gonna leave it on this episode. On the next episode, they journey away from Bangkok and we'll see how they get on. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. A and knock. See you soon, bye.